Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dulce and I'm the owner of Sweet Hope Naturals and I am back with a new video for you all that you have all been requesting this specific video and I'm excited to finally sit down and walk you through how I make my labels. It's gonna be short and sweet. It's just a quick overview of how I create my labels. What labels do I use? What printer do I use? And if you are interested in learning about that and maybe it will be helpful for your own business well stick around and check out the rest of the video Today is a shop day and before heading to the shop because I was getting ready anyway and my desk is somewhat clean I figured I would turn on my camera and show you guys a little bit about how I create my labels so first thing I want to say this video is definitely not about anything technical about what needs to go on your labels I am going to recommend this book if you are a business owner making skincare soap uh, any type of products like this you must 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 purchase this book and really learn what it is that you are required as a business owner to put on your labels so I'm not going to talk about that today but I am going to recommend that you get this book this is called the soap and cosmetic labeling uh, book it's how to follow the rules and regulations explained in plain English because if we try to read all the rules by the FDA in all their jargon you're not going to understand it unless you are a lawyer or you understand that sort of thing but this is a great book that is a great resource now that you know now that you have the book and that you know what things are required on your labels let's talk about labels so ever since I started my business I have been using multiple types of labels, trying to find the best one. And for the past couple of years, I've stuck to one company that I'm sure some of you have already heard, and that is onlinelabels.com. For the moment and for what I am doing now, that I have found is to be the best place for me to get labels that I like and that are up to the standards that I expect from my product. Before starting my soap business, I was a, I was a studio photographer and um, for a few years. So I have knowledge of some software like Photoshop that helped me, although it was um, for my photos, I also learned how to create uh, a lot of like graphic design sort of things with Photoshop. So that helped in the beginning. But now, in this day and age, there is a wonderful resource that I'm sure you've already heard about, heard about, and that is my go-to at the moment. I just don't have time to design things from scratch like I used to. So guess what I use now? Canva. You guys, Canva is amazing, and if you're not paying for that professional subscription, you should be because it is 1,000% worth it. You could also use it for free. You're gonna be a little bit limited, but I would definitely recommend that you use the Canva Professional Edition. It is definitely worth it a thousand times over. So what I have now in Canva is a basic uh, template of the sizes of uh, labels that I use. So I'm going to try to do this in a way that doesn't confuse you. So let's talk about the labels first. I have quite a number of different labels that I use. Not a lot, but um, there is a, a few different sizes, but I try to use sizes that I can use on different products. So I'm not spending so much money on labels. So these are the transparent 
glossy labels that I use on my uh, whipped soap sugar scrubs. Um, I like these because I like um, people to see the color of the scrubs in the glass jar. It just looks really nice. So these are one of the ones that I use. Um, they're the two by five and then I will go through the different uh, labels, uh, names of the labels with you as well. This is the matte version. So this is the weatherproof uh, matte version of this label. It is a two by five. And again, I use this on all my other products. So anything that's a lotion, um, anything that is a body oil, I will use these on my four ounce jars as well as my eight ounce jars. So this is a great label that I get to use for different jars without having to buy a separate label for every single jar. I also have a two by four and then I have the two versions of this one. I also have the two by four, um, which you get 10 on each sheet. And this is the weatherproof mat. Again, I use this one on my smaller um, cream jars. These are perfect for that. And I also use these for my face serums, but what I have to do is I actually have to cut a little bit off. Again, it just makes sense to use a pre-cut label for me. It's much easier. I've never used the Cricut. I just think that thing is, it's just too, a waste of time. And then the last type of label that I use is the also the two by four, but I, then I just use a regular paper. And this is the one I use on my soap boxes um, because they're not, they're not really beautiful. They're just regular paper. Um, I probably upgrade, but I just ordered like a thousand of them. So I'll finish those and then upgrade maybe to um, the nicer matte paper. The online labels have an amazing matte weatherproof. This material works really great for my body oils, like I said, for my serums, um, for my lotions. It really doesn't smear. It it works great. I mean, it's not going to be super resistant. It's not going to be, you know, completely perfect, but it's it's really nice. I am going to jump on the computer now so that I can show you guys a little bit about how I uh, just do my labels on Canva really quickly so you guys can all see and um, and then we'll go to the store so I can actually show you the labels on the products and you can see what they look like on the products as well. All right, so let's do that. Okay. We are in Canva and this is one of my 2x5 labels that I use for my body oil and massage oil. This is a 4 ounce pump bottle that I use and this size label is perfect. I used to do my labels just all white and with uh, recent changes and wanting to incorporate a little bit more texture and color into my brand, I decided that I was going to change up my labels a little bit and give each scent an identity with maybe colors or designs on the labels. And I really like how this has turned out so far. So I'm going to continue with this. So let's create a new one. Okay. This is my cashmere nourishing body, um, and massage oil. So all I'm gonna do is, I already have this design, I'm just gonna copy, I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna make a copy of it. So this is a copy. Now I wanna make my vanilla coconut. So this is another scent that is very, very popular. So all I have to do is change the name of it. I have my little logo here, oops. I forget that there's two layers of that on here. Um, so there's really nothing else for me to do. The ingredients are the same. All the information here is the same. So all I have to do now is to change my background. So I will go into my elements and then I will type in something like, uh, let's see what color would I want my, my, um, vanilla coconut i'm gonna say something neutral abstract that does not say neutral neutral abstract background and see if there's something neutral and nice to kind of signify that doesn't look too much like this one 
um, that we can use for our vanilla coconut. This is really pretty. Let's try that. Ooh, I kind of like that. Whoops. I didn't want to delete the whole thing. I just want to delete this here. And let's go ahead and make this bigger. And I really like the way that looks. That is pretty, pretty nice. And it kind of goes with the other designs that I'm doing. So then it's done, guys. I already have my ingredients directions. I have my information here. So this is ready to be downloaded. All we have to do is go to download. And what I do is I just choose the current page and I just download it as a PNG and that's fine. I don't need to do a higher size. This is the perfect size. I don't need to spend more memory on my computer. So let's go ahead and click done and let's let that download. So once we download that, now we're gonna open up this is where I go to Photoshop because this is where I have all of my files and I'm going to go to the place where I have a sheet of all of these two by five labels. And what I do is I just replace it with a new label that we just downloaded. Okay. So this is Photoshop and this is the template that I downloaded from online labels. Okay, so if we go to online labels and you look up the label that you purchased, the size that you need for your own labels, this is, in my case, this is the one that I need. This is a two by five, and this is what the template is of the uh, labels. So I wanna make sure that I download this so that I can have a template for me to use. So what I do is I go in and I download the PDF template. And you could also download it as a Microsoft Word file. There's different options. You could also use their own designer uh, software that they have. But I just go with the PDF and I download that. So I already have it downloaded. That's the way you guys do that, okay? So now I have that PDF and I've inserted it into a Photoshop document. And because Photoshop is really cool with layers, you could have as many layers as you want. You turn on and off layers. So I'm gonna turn it on just to guide me. And now I'm gonna go to my desktop where that new label downloaded. And then I'm just gonna drag it in here. So now my label is ready and see, this is super easy. And all I do is place it where it needs to go. And then I duplicate my layer and I do it again. And you continue doing that. Okay, you just duplicate and place the label where it needs to go. So now we have four. I'm just gonna highlight my four layers. I am going to duplicate those. And then I'm going to slide them over to this side. And those little handy dandy little lines that show up kind of show me that everything looks good. So we're ready to go. So now we turn off the layer with the, the guiding lines, that template. We just turn that off. Okay, so now we're gonna go to print. And I'm sorry that this you're not seeing this very clear, clearly. Um, but let's go to print. And we're gonna mess with our print settings. So regardless of what printer you have, this is really important step because this is where you're gonna find the best settings for the printer paper that you have. Now I've tried different ones. I've um, messed up a lot of labels trying to find the best setting. And for my labels that I use from online labels and for my printer, the best setting for me to get these the way I want is going to be the plain paper. So you have different options here. You have glossy, matte, okay? You can play with these on your printer and try them all out and see which one prints the best. But again, for me and my printer, this is what I like. 
And then we're gonna go to quality, and for quality, I want to be the highest quality. And here we need it to be color. We want this print to print out full color, and we're gonna press OK. And that's all you have to do. That for me is all I need to do. Everything is to the highest quality. And we're gonna go ahead and press print. Okay, and here is my finished printed label. It looks clean, clear, it printed perfectly into the little slots where it's supposed to print. And it is super nice quality. I really like this paper. It's soft, it's thicker. It's the weatherproof type of paper that they have. And this works great in my lotions and my body oils. Um, it just looks really nice on my product. Okay, and the last thing you need for nice labels is a good printer my printer is the epson tank et 4800 i don't know if they still make this or not if they do i'm going to look it up and i am going to go ahead and put it on the description box if you guys want to purchase this this little guy takes so much work and use and it's been going going strong for a couple of years now and i have rarely ever changed have to replace the ink on it I have never replaced any of the color ink. The only ink that I have had to replace is the uh, black one because that's the one I use the most. Now that I'm starting to use more color in my labels, I might run out of my other uh, inks, but for now, the black is the only one I've only replaced and I've had this for over two years now. So I really love the printer. It looks, it, it works great. Um, it prints quickly, it prints really nice, it doesn't smear. Like I said, all of these things have, you have to test them out. You have to test them out with your own paper, test out the different settings on your printer, print different ones, try different ones to see which one is gonna be the best setting for the type of paper that you are using. The last paper that I use is the glossy. And let me just show you this real quick before we leave. We're gonna go to the store and then I'll show you some of the products with the labels on in the store because I don't have any, any labels here. But this is the latest paper that I ordered and this is the first time I tried ordering this one. And this is a super glossy weatherproof and it looks pearlescent. It looks so nice. It, and this one, printed in color looks amazing so this is a full sheet it doesn't have it's not pre-cut so these i cut myself and that's super easy to do you just use your little cutter paper cutter and then cut the the labels to the size that you need the combination that i have found with my epson eco tank printer and my online labels that i have chosen so far just works really well for me and my products so that is what i use and if that happens to work for you too then great i'm glad to be able to tell you what i use to see if it works for you and if it does then that's going to be awesome for you as well just experiment with different papers different settings on your printer and you're going to get amazing results Right, guys we made it to the store and I want to finish off this video by showing you some of the products with the labels on and how I use the same size for different products I'm gonna start with our 8 ounce lotion and this one is a sample of what the 8 ounce lotion jar looks like some people use labels that cover this entire section of the jar I'm okay with my label the way it is right now it I think it looks elegant I like that you can see most of the glass amber jar it just looks really pretty to me so this is the two by five a two by five label and then also for a four ounce so this is a version of the four ounce label 
on a four ounce pump lotion jar. I also use this for the body oil and this is what it looks like. I really like that this material doesn't stain, it doesn't smear when the lotion, like if you, I mean when the oil falls on the label. My two by four labels I use for the body butter creams. These are just two by four. They don't go all the way around. But again, all the information that I need to have on there is on there. And then this is a little bit bigger. This is the six ounce. And again, it doesn't go all the way around, but it works for me. I make this same size label work for two different sizes. Last one also is the transparent one that I was telling you guys about. This is a clear glossy that I print. And um, this one is printed on inkjet. It will wash off if people put it inside of their shower. That is just gonna happen. But if you use a, a laser, it will not. So that is a quick, easy fix. Just print this one on a laser printer, all black. You don't need a color laser printer, just print it in a laser and it'll work perfectly. It won't wash off if people happen to put this inside of the water. The other type of paper that I am falling in love with and I might upgrade moving forward for the rest of my products is the glossy. I didn't think that I would love the feel or the look of a glossy pro uh, label on my products, but now that I tried it and I printed in color, oh my gosh, I love it. I think it just elevates my brand, just gives it that little special touch, and I am so in love with it. So far, I've done these small, tiny little labels for my masks, and look at how beautiful that is so shiny. It doesn't really come through on camera, but it's got a really, really beautiful look to it. I was really surprised. I was not expecting that. And usually I shy away from anything glossy. I just think it looks too commercial and too blah. But honestly, it doesn't. It looks really, really pretty. And I still get that like handmade original look. But these, these labels are so pretty and they look beautiful when they're in color. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that any advice I could give you today on labels was helpful and that you were able to learn at least something new or a little tip that helps you in your business as well. And thank you so much for following me on this journey. I enjoy sharing it with you here on YouTube. Keep those comments coming and remember to like and subscribe. Have a great one. Bye.